Hey everybody, got a gear review for you today. Not necessarily firearms gear, I mean you could use it as a range bag one way or another, but this is technically an exercise bag. This is the King Kong Apparel Giant Kong Bag. I purchased this back in July when they announced their pre-order. I'm always looking for a better bag to carry my exercise clothes in because I typically carry a lot. I think I've weighed my current bag right around 20 pounds with clothes and shoes and accessories in it. So I'm always looking for something well built that will take the abuse. It comes in and out of my car multiple times a day, travels with me all week long, etc. This bag is made in China, but it does carry a 25 year warranty on it. So if any craftsmanship issues come up in 25 years, you pay and send it to them and they'll fix anything on the bag. It's made out of 1000D nylon, that's water resistant construction. It has a lot of double stitching. It has a magnetic carry strap handle here instead of Velcro. I'll show you my current bag in a minute. I've worn this out on my current bag. The magnets are a little weak, but as long as you've got a good firm grip on it, they're not gonna come open. It has heavy duty shoulder strap clasp that I doubt anybody would be able to break these under normal use. Maybe if you were repelling from a uh, building you could break it somehow or something but these are tough. You've got an adjustable shoulder strap with their logo on it. That's Velcro. You can adjust it where you want. Two inch wide shoulder strap. That was the one thing that my current bag doesn't have is a shoulder strap. So I had a farmer carry my current bag five minutes each way to the gym at lunchtime at work and that got to be a little heavy after a while. It has a few eyelets on each side for airing. So the capacity of this bag is 63 liters. It's 22 by 13 and a half by 13 or 56 by 34 by 33 centimeters. Three standard colors, black, charcoal, and pink. I went with the black even though I do kind of like the pink. My number one complaint with my current bag, besides the lack of a shoulder strap, is the amount of time I spend rooting through my stuff to get something out. I have my shoes on top of everything, so when you're in a hurry trying to get dressed and trying to find a pair of socks, you're digging through there trying to find it, throwing your shoes everywhere. So here's my current bag. I got it like a year ago from Target. Skyline's on the side. I don't know if that's a brand or not. I can't remember. It's seen... It's still in pretty good shape after being a year old. It's got... The corners are starting to wear out on it. Like I said, I've worn the carry strap completely out from carrying it, like I said, up and down the street. So now the question is, what do I have inside this thing? So here's everything that's in my current bag. I've got a pair of basketball shoes, a pair of general running slash fitness shoes, I have used them for CrossFit from time to time. Typically carry my CrossFit shoes just in the back of my car and I grab them when I need it because I run out of room. I usually put each pair of shoes in a bag when I'm done with them so I don't get any debris or anything on my clothes. I carry a bunch of basketball socks since the only time I use basketball socks is when I'm at work. I've got a bag for CrossFit or general use. It's got a couple pairs of wrist wraps, some chalk, a jump rope an armband for putting my cell phone in. I've got a spare change of clothes with pants and a hoodie in the middle. I've got two pairs of towels, various socks. I've got a pair of running socks. I typically always carry two changes of clothes for workouts in there. Like I said, typically I play basketball at lunch or a general workout. And then usually afterwards I may go to my gym or CrossFit or something. you got your sneaker balls to keep everything fresh. I have a weight belt. I have some racket balls that I like to use and throw up against the wall for hand-eye coordination from time to time. Got baby wipes. You never know when you're going to need to clean something up or just freshen up your face when you're done. I've got deodorant, body spray, bag to throw my wedding ring in, and a belt. So that's everything that's in my current bag. So let's see if this fits in the new bag. I've got everything fit into this bag that was in my other bag. I've got my baby wipes in there. I've got just the miscellaneous in here for my rings and stuff, jewelry. 
Got my deodorant, and body spray in there. Got extra plastic bags on the outside there. On the side here, I've got all my socks, and weight belt, and racquetballs. I think I forgot to mention that these are number 10 YKK zippers. They're pretty heavy duty. It's gonna take some uh, pulling to break one of those. So I got a weight belt and all the different socks and stuff. That way I don't gotta mess around. On the shoe side, I put both my pairs of shoes in the top. On the bottom shoes, I put my spare change of clothes in there. Put them out of the way of everything else. Air holes on these for ventilation as well. On the inside, I put my general bag of CrossFit goodies there. I've got my two pairs of clothes there. I've got my hoodie there and my two towels. So I fitted everything in there. For being a giant, it probably could be maybe a little couple inches longer to fit some more junk in there, or maybe an extra pocket or something on this side for other stuff. I fit everything in here with room to spare. My other bag, while it was bigger, it was you know 27 inches long, it was packed full with no room to spare. I mean, I got the maximum amount of socks in here that anybody could carry, and I probably really should only carry a couple pairs in there. But I got everything in here. I probably could even put another change of clothes in here if I wanted. Or on days that I go to the gym, I can throw my dress pair of shoes right there and my dress clothes on top. Before, on those days, I was struggling to get that zipper closed. I had so much stuff in there. Overall, I pre-ordered this for 130 bucks. like I said, back in July. I got it in October. I do believe they're 150 bucks right now and then on pre-order again. I think they're not available until February. So if you guys are looking for a quality gym bag that offers a warranty that's going to be really hard to beat with needing a lot of space to put stuff in, definitely check out this giant bag from King Kong Apparel. Thanks again for watching everybody. Take it easy.